It's Team Duplicolor versus Team VHT, and it starts right now. We are almost at the point in this competition where we're ready to see what these trucks are going to look like when everything is done. But here's the issue. Both teams have pieces and parts laying all over the place. We've got to get these trucks back together. Team, let's bring in the pieces. Men, women, everybody, are you ready? We got tires, I see wheels, I see door panels. Let's put this thing back together. Ooh, those are going to look good. Look at that. This is it, the moment that we have all been waiting for. The teams are done, the trucks are done, and this is my favorite time. It's time to check these vehicles out. Mark, man, you've got to be happy with the team. Really happy. Awesome great, job. Great uh, job by the team here. Just it, impressive results. It almost looks like a totally different truck. It really you does. Know? Complete transformation. So let's take a look. I don't, it'd be easiest, I guess, just to go maybe from front to back, right? I'd I mean, say so. Under here. The boys went crazy in here. Look at really, this. It really did. This the engine just looks almost brand new again. We started by cleaning it all out so you can see a nice That's a clean good start. engine bay. Right. <laughs> and then on the engine bay on the side here, we used our engine enamel and our semi-gloss black. So we made it look nice and brand new. And then we used some other engine enamel colors in our aluminum and then our cast iron just to kind of make those pieces look fresh and, and brand new again. The fresh is an understatement. It, it really is. It's just complete transformation as we mentioned and then to really set it off we used the dimensional effects template from our carbon fiber kit and we did kind of a unique customization here by using our metal cast and our orange and then we top coated that on top of the dimensional effects template with our orange engine enamel. It was fun to watch the process and, and kind of have some fun with all the carbon fiber look that goes throughout the whole vehicle, which we'll really, see in a couple minutes. That's but correct. It does. It really starts up here. I love the use of the colors and all that. It just shows that really the opportunities are endless when it comes to doing something. They really are. You know, you got an idea, test it out, and put it on the vehicle. All right, let's close this thing. All right. Get, watch your fingers. You know, if I'm looking at this thing in my rear view mirror, the front looks great. Look at that, man. It really turned out well. So we used our VHT hood bumper and trim paint to make the grill kind of look brand new again, yep. keep it fresh yep. as we mentioned. And then we used our metal cast smoke on the centerpiece here, give it a nice little look. And then we accented it a little further with our metal specs and orange on the emblem. Doing that, you know, you brought down the, the, the paint shop around the whole bumper and the nice touch down here too. I don't know whose idea that was, but that was good. Yeah, that was uh, David Kidd there. We uh, took the truck bed coating we did on the back using yeah. our bed armor and we put it on the front bumper as well just to toughen it up and kind of tie it to the overall vehicle look. Cool, man. Let's come around here. And one of the things that you guys did early on that I thought really jumped out and made a big impact mm -hmm. was the carbon fiber, of course, right? Yep. But on the wheels, because I told you guys, right. look, the new wheels, that's fine, but you got to do something to them, and you guys went above and beyond. I like right. it. So really, uh, carbon fiber look on the wheels there it wasn't very hard to do. It came out looking great. Accented the uh, overall paint job with our lug nuts and that orange color, and then we uh, painted the caliper in the back. Yeah, yeah, cute little caliper back there. Looks it nice and nice. clean. Right. All right, so then coming back, you're looking at some of the exterior trim on the mirrors. Ties into the whole look. Everything just looks good and clean, right. and that brings us to the inside. Now, let's take a look at this because you guys made big changes on the inside of this truck. That's correct. We pretty much painted everything in here but the seats. You know, it's a complete restore from the dash to the doors. And I think you'll see we used the step one of the carbon fiber kit, the graphite metallic on the dash there. And then on the face, you can see the actual carbon fiber technique that we achieved. We did the center consoles. We did the floor with our vinyl and fabric. But back to the door, again, we did the graphite metallic base coat on the larger sections here and then on the accent and a couple of the other pieces we use the carbon fiber effect and that matches 
the mirrors and the door handles on the outside. It does. It, it's like it all ties in together, almost like it was a plan. That's right. right. I don't know if it was a plan or an accidental thing, but it was. It I worked think it out was good. just a, a little bit of a plan and a little <laughs> bit of having fun and, and just making it look really nice. It looks brand new in there, so Thank you. great job. I, and the carpet. It, it's so weird because you might not think, oh, we're going to redo the carpet, but it's so much easier just to do what you guys did as opposed to ripping it all out. And right. Clipping. We just used our vinyl and fabric and black on the carpet there, and it almost looks like you said, brand new. All right, man. So coming back here, wheels and tires, obviously the same on the back. They look great. The bed armor, just the traditional black with the yep. bed armor, looks good with the, with the burnt orange color. So I, I think, again, it just flows nice. Yeah, it looks really great. And just toughens it up and makes it look like a, a nice durable truck bed coating back there. All right, now let's talk about the big thing, right? The burnt orange metallic, the finish on that. I mean, obviously that's the biggest impact on the whole truck. And I, I think you guys picked a great color. And yeah, we're really happy with how it turned out. We used our paint shop finish system from the primer to the burnt orange metallic, as you mentioned, and then finished it off with our matte clear coat. I think what I like most is it's totally unique. You're not going to see another vehicle on the road that looks like this. Right. You know, especially Team Duplicolor's truck looks vastly different from this. So great job. Speaking of that, I need to go check that one out. All right. Thank you for stopping job, by. Man. You got it. You're great. I love it. Thanks. I love it. You know this is kind of my style, right? I mean, right. I, I like well, what the other team did. It's yeah. cool, but we're lifted trucks, kind of my thing. So right. I'm digging this. It looks awesome. Thank Paint you. Paint looks great. Love everything about it. Let's take a look at it. Tell sure. me what we did. All right. So on the front, we used a lot of black trim and bumper over here. And then in the grill itself, if you remember, we decided to highlight these headlights with yeah. a little bit of stainless steel to make those pop. Then because these have literally been dragged through the bush, we went ahead and used our headlight restore kit on the turn signals on the front and back to kind of freshen those up and make them look new again. Very cool. Yeah, it does. The whole face right? looks Right? Looks pretty good. Um, underneath, we did just a little bit on that engine challenge with some of the anodized metallic red on the valve cover. Um, nothing too exciting. So let's talk about these Yeah, they these went wheels. crazy. I know. Yeah. yeah, they went a little crazy there. But this is where we spent all of our time you, and energy, right? And it was time well spent, too. Wasn't it? Yeah, look, look at these. These look wicked. Right? So the whole bit, everything. So we started, remember when we took all the wheels off, we mm -hmm. did the calipers and we hand painted the red caliper kit on the front. And then we did the drums with our black caliper paint aerosol. And then in the interior of the wheel, we have the bronze wheel paint, which turned out great. It really did. And since we don't have a red wheel paint, we used our red engine here to accent that and tie it all back to the truck. And then we have a little bit of black on there as well from the wheel paint. And then when we were done, we cleared that for a little added protection. You know, it's crazy though, because you look, it's like you painted here, right? here, you know, that, that, these, everything. It, it was all, you know, you got a lot of stuff going on. It all there. ties together. It was all part of the big picture. It really does. All right. Interior wise. Interior, we didn't do a whole lot because this is clearly an off-road truck, right? Sure, sure. So it's going to be muddy. It's going to be dirty. All we really wanted to do was freshen up that seat. So we went ahead and hit that with our vinyl and fabric. We used the desert sand on that. And 
I think it turned out great. I think it looks awesome. I think it looks great. So used a little bit of bed armor here on the rails as well. Just kind of freshen everything up. All the trim has been redone in the trim paint and trim yep. and bumper. Again, just kind of cleaned it up. Tons of wax and grease remover getting everything right. <laughs> cleaned yeah. up on this one. Lots of prep spray. A lot of empty bottles of that. A lot of empty around. bottles of that. There was a lot of cake done mud, but she looks brand new now. I think you did the right thing as far as the interior goes. You know, it's like, why, why kill it on that? Exactly. Okay, so the bed, very cool. I know it's, yes. it's way up there. I, you know, yeah, I know. It's, it's in there. So very cool two color process that you it did. It was, on that. yeah. So we started by putting down the bed armor kit because that's got the Kevlar, the Dupont mm -hmm. Kevlar in there, and we want that for that durability and that toughness. Again, consider the truck and what it's being used for. But we really wanted to continue that color palette that we had running throughout with the the bronze. So we we hit it with the sandstorm yeah. bed armor aerosols on top. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I think it looks great, and and you've got a lot of functionality in this too, you oh, know, yeah. which is cool. There's not a lot of just I don't know fancy bells and whistles that you'll never use. No, you know? no, it, cool. it's it's not all for show. It's utilitarian. It, it is. looks great. Love the paint. Let's talk about this. That's the biggest. I don't know. The wheels are pretty dramatic too. The know? wheels are dramatic, but uh, this red is fantastic. So this is our Dupacolor paint shop. We use the primer. We yeah. use the performance red. We use the gloss clear. And it just turned out phenomenal. I couldn't be happier with the way the truck looks right now. Looks great. And I, I didn't lick it that one It time. does look good enough to eat, though. I think I heard you mention I that. mentioned that a couple times, a couple and I stand by that. <laughs> so you know what we need to do now, though? Get the rest of your team, right? Get All them right. together. And then we're going to take these trucks. We're going to put them nose to nose, face to face, if you will. And that way, you guys that are watching and that have been following along this whole process, you guys can make the call on which truck is going to win. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, get the teams. All right. They're ready. We'll get them. All of the work is done, and now it's time to bring these trucks in face to face, nose to nose. Teams, let's bring them in. Let's take a look at this work and let's see how everything is looking. Nice and slow, though. We don't want them crashing into each other. Right about there. Beautiful. Nicely done, teams. Come on in. Come on in. You guys deserve a little bit of the spotlight, too. You should all be proud of yourselves. You did a fantastic job. But it all goes back to when we started this whole thing and we said, look, there are two teams, two brands, and two trucks. But ultimately, there can only be one winner, and that is going to be determined by you. So who's it going to be? Is it going to be these guys, Team Duplicolor? Yeah. Or will the winning team be Team BHT? Yeah. It's anybody's guess, and it's all up to you. Plenty of paint. I screwed that up. I'll take that one. Yeah. That's the carbon. Oh, no. We had it. One eight one eight 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 idols oh six. Decide. Gets on the couch. Like. Ah!